The perpendicular from the centre to a chord bisects the chord. Just a little bit of terminology, remember again. Any line, this line A and B is called a chord. It's a line that goes through a circle and touches at two points, but not the diameter, not through the middle. So any other line. So the theory is saying that this would, if I take a chord like this line and I draw a radius down to at right angles, it'll cut it in half. So for example one. The perpendicular from the centre to a chord by six chord, and we've got the line telling us AC is 12, and it's asking us what the length of BC is. So there's AC here, so I can write 12 next to that. BC is on this side, well we've got it already telling us it's in half, so it's just really identifying that this is also 12. So BC is equal to 12 centimetres. Doesn't get much easier than that. So example two. It's asking us that AB is 36, what's the length of BC? So we need to identify our bits. A to B, the whole line is 36. So if I draw a line, just to show that, that whole thing is 36. And it's asking me for B to C, which is the middle to the outside. Well, that's half. So BC must equal 18 millimetres. And the reason for that is, again, because we've got a chord that's been cut in half by a radius at right angles. So example three is the meat and potatoes of this. This is where it starts to get tricky, a little bit trickier. You need to use a bit more maths. So let's have a look at it. It says the radius of the circle is 10 centimetres, and it's drawn here. It says the length of AB is 16, which is drawn here. And you have to look at the length of CO, which is this line here. Now you should be able to see that we've got a triangle being formed. So if we can find the length of two of those sides, and using Pythagoras, we can find the length of the other side because it's a right angle triangle. So we already know that the chord's length is 16. So we know that here is just going to be 8 centimetres. So if I now take that triangle out so you can see it, you've really got this right angle. One side is 8. The hypotenuse is 10, and we've got a missing side here, we'll call it x. So by Pythagoras, x squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. This is Pythagoras. Which means we're finding the short, one of the short sides, so we need to take away to get it. So x squared equals 10 squared minus 8 squared. It's 100 minus 64, so x squared is 36, which means x is the square root of 36, which is 6 centimetres. And that's a very common question that will come up again and again and again when we make a triangle inside a side of circle. It ends up being a right angle triangle, so you need to use Pythagoras to solve it and get the missing side. Okay, some of your tasks for you to try. So question one, give a go to this question. It tells you that OM is perpendicular to the chord AB. OM being perpendicular means at right angles. You have to work out the length of BM. Pause the task video here and give it a go. A to M here is 9 centimetres, which means B to M must also be 9 centimetres. So the length of BM is just 9 centimetres. So question two says... OM is perpendicular to the chord AB. It tells you that AB is 42 centimetres. You have to work out the side length OM. Pause the video here and give it a go. Okay, and the answer to that one. So we know that the whole line A to B is 42. So we can go from B to M to get 21. So we've got 21 here. We also know that this is a right angle because it used the word perpendicular. So we've now got a right angle triangle if I redraw it. The hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, is 29 centimetres. BTM is 21 centimetres. And we've got a missing side down here, let's call that X. So by Pythagoras, we know that 21 squared plus x squared equals 29 squared. So I'm going to have to take away. So x squared is 29 
squared minus 21 squared. 29 squared is 841. 21 squared is 441. So that equals 400. Which means x being the square root of 400 is 20 centimeters exactly. Question three for you to try. The circle has centre O and OR is a radius to the circle. AB is a chord and it tells you that AM equals BM. Work out the value of angle X, which is down here. Pause the video here, give it a go, see how you get on. And the answer. So, it's just about identifying all the things. It told us that this is a chord. That these are the same length and that this is a radius so it cuts it at right angles so we can just mark on our right angle here and then we've got a triangle and angles in a triangle add up to 180 so zooming in a little bit since angles in a triangle add up to 180 i get 42 degrees for down here and then angles on a straight line also add up to 180 so 180 minus 42 is 138 degrees. So x equals 138 degrees. Question four, the last few for you to try. Have a look at these diagrams and work out the size of x. Give it a go and come back when you're done. Okay, so the answers, let's go through this. So we know that this is going to be a right angle down here. We know that this is also going to be x because of symmetry, because that's a radius and they're both the same size so we could use pythagoras so simply x squared you should have written with 7.5 squared minus 4 squared which is 56.25 minus 16 which is 6.34 centimetres. And then question B, very similarly. So if I work out this bit here, I'll call it Y, then two of them will make X. So I've got Y squared is 10 squared minus 5 squared. It's 100 minus 25. So Y squared is 75. So y is the square root of 75, 8.66. So x must be 2 times 8.66, 17 17.32. This has been Claire and Maths, and today we've been looking at what happens when you take a radius and it hits a chord at right angles and it cuts it in half. And then using that with some Pythagoras to work out some missing sides and triangles within circles. Stay safe, take care, goodbye.